Hi there. Today I would like to introduce our web-based CRM solution. What is a CRM and how does CRM help businesses to grow? Customer Relationship Management acronym CRM is a platform for managing all your company's relationship and interactions with customers and potential clients. A CRM system helps companies stay connected to the customers, streamline processes and ultimately improve profitability. A CRM solution helps you focus on your organization's relationship with individual people including finding new prospects, winning their business and providing support and additional services throughout the relationship. Our product is Elite CRM. Elite CRM helps you to manage and track all your sales people and their activities throughout the day, month, quarter or year. It helps you to keep a record of all your customers along with their key details and past interactions with them. It helps to build better relations with your customers and never lets a lead slip through your fingers. Elite CRM streamlines your workflow by generating leads, converting them to opportunities, preparing proposals on the go, conduct regular follow-ups and helps you close the deals successfully. The core modules of Elite CRM include leads, opportunity, proposal and reports. Let's explore through the different modules starting from the leads management. You need to log into the application through a authenticated username and password. Once you log in, you will see the dashboard screen. On the dashboard, you can see different options like follow-ups, activities, proposals and today's activity is like what are the opportunities done proposals done support and what are the new customers being created also you have the calendar wise activity list now if to create a new lead just click on the leads menu and you can click on add lead Here you can choose the customer or if you want to add a new customer you can just click on the new customer link and then fill up all the necessary information related to the customer and you can save the form and the master gets created inside the database. Here you choose the customer and then you can also choose the appropriate salesman. Choose the source of the inquiry from the list and you also have option to add. Choose the inquiry type you need to give a name for the lead enter the name of the lead and then save the lead to get inside the system once the lead is generated it can be converted into an opportunity to convert this into an opportunity just click on the opportunity menu and then click here on the opportunity it will show you the list of all the other uh, opportunities that you have created and from here you can just click on the convert button and you can convert that lead into an opportunity this will give you the, all the lead is resting to the opportunity all will be picked up automatically from the system and just you need to save the opportunity once the opportunity is saved you can find the opportunity number gets generated by the system and also you can see all the necessary information related to the customer here. Once the opportunity is saved in the system, you can create a proposal for that particular opportunity. Click on create proposal and here you can choose the product. Click and it will give you a drop down list here and in case you want to add a new product you have an option to add a new product 
just click on add button and here you can mention all the necessary information related to the product and you can add the product. Choose the product and enter quantity, the price and discount if any provided and also you can choose the tax amount. So choose the percentage of tax and it will calculate automatically calculate the percentage of VAT for the particular item. Click add row to add a new item, choose product again and enter all the necessary information. Click on the next menu and here you can add the content that needs to be appearing in your proposal and also you have option to enter the terms and conditions. Specify the necessary terms and conditions to be appearing in the, in the quotation and option of the validity of the quotation. You can choose the validity, the payment method. and delivery method of the product and also choose your default bank so that it gives you the bank details in the proposal. Choose the template, you can have multiple templates or single template and click on the save proposal to save the proposal in the system. Click on the, you can also print, click on the print button and you can find the proposal in PDF. Once the proposals are created, you can see the list of all the proposals that are listed here and here you have the option to either edit the proposal, you can revise the proposal, you want to view the proposal or print the proposal. And then you can move to the follow up of that same proposal. If you want to do the follow up of the proposal, click on the follow up button and here it will list you the particular follow up you can choose and choose the follow up option and here you can define all your interactions with the customer related to that particular proposal just click on the follow up option and there you can mention the details related to the interaction with the customer like there is an option to enter the date and the time automatically comes up. Enter all the, the remarks that you made with the customer and you can save the follow up. Once you save the follow up automatically it will get listed here as a history of all the follow ups that you have made. And at any time you can view the details of the follow ups. Now let us move to the reports module and when you click on the reports module here you can find the reports related to the core modules like the opportunity, proposals and follow up. There are certain add-ons apart from the core modules that you can add in the system like 
sales order purchase order for from invoice and tax invoice these add-ons are also available in the system